All right, here's the Armenian Armand Sarukyan, a lightweight that many believe will one day be wearing UFC gold around his waist. The winning streak is in tow, and the strength of schedule has just been fantastic, really dating to the Islam Akashev fight back in 2019. At times, perhaps Sarukyan has been a victim of expectation, but largely he has lived up to what was some appreciable hype when he signed with the UFC back in 2019. He has inched his way towards contention. He's a guy that some have called the boogeyman of lightweight division, a guy that a lot of people don't want to fight. Eventually, you gotta fight him. We'll see if he can rise to the occasion here tonight. for Charles Oliveira tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Business Herb fight. Dean is our referee Ready. tonight. Good. All right, early portions of the round, we will see how it goes for Charles Oliveira. This man has every skill you would want in a mixed martial artist, and that's why he has gone from, you know, middling featherweight at times to one of the greatest lightweights of all time. Oliveira gets tattooed with that hook. Beautifully timed and placed. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Big right hand there. Tremendous body kick lands for this guy. And that's that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. <laughs> Try to establish that jab. Push kick there to the body. Bone on bone, nicely done with the high kicks. Oh man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Somehow his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Patented front kick there by Sarukyan. Oh, single collar tie here. So the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. It got checked. Goes to the 
switch kick and lands. You got that weapon in your arsenal. Right? It is a great strike, and I've done it a number of times. I actually threw it in both fights against Steve Emil. Oh, good body kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Rivera's uppercut is blocked. So just a giant total strikes have already landed for Charles Oliveira. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Get side mount. Somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. This man is landing brutal ground and pound. Oliveira's in half guard now. Full side control now. Mm, nice. There it is. Now he's going to mount. He's got to be careful here. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong work from the top here by Oliveira. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Blocked. Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now he's setting up a submission attempt. Heel hook looks tight. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler, and he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Salukian is in half court. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. And another, another strike from the top lands for him. A lot of top pressure being applied here. He's getting them out here. Final seconds here of round one. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Salukian. Second round, straight ahead. All right, heading back to the corner now after that round. And Oliveira's bleeding from the forehead there a little bit. It doesn't appear to be too bad. The focus for the cut man, though, to make sure that he can stop the bleeding and not allow the blood to get into the eyes. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. All right, so we didn't see any takedown attempts from the BJJ player in round one, and as yet, he still hasn't attempted to take this fight to the ground. Very surprising approach by this guy. He's so good on the ground. I would have expected him to try to get it to the ground earlier in the fight. But as we go on, it starts to... Oh, nice judo toss for him. Oh, nice headlock. That Darce choke is tight. It looks like the Darce choke is in. He's got it locked in now. He's got to do Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Sarukyan. A 
another strike gets through from the top position. Nice transition. The unbelly. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Salagan is back in full now. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Oliveira's in half guard. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure. And he has certainly kept up his end of the road. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the... Oliveira's attempting a triangle here. Let's see if he can finish the deal. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. He's out. What submission defense on this play? Now drops inside that closed guard, you see. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round of box. Showing off that leg dexterity and flexibility rubber guard now. I mean, it's unbelievable to watch these guys who are able to break the legs all the way up around the shoulders and just control you. Look at him, he's setting up the choke now. Look at him, he's setting it up. That guillotine is tight. Oh, hang on a second, he escapes. What a tremendous job. You saw his hands immediately go to the inside. Attack the lock, create some space. Roll to your back, give up the mount, but live to fight another day. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. All right, so perhaps he's going to... Oh, attempting to go for the leg now. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Side control now. That's how it in half goal. And again, dealing with that cut around his eye. Gotta be careful. He's gotta shore up the defense, because if he keeps getting hit there, it's only gonna continue to get worse. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Got it very tight. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Sarukiana's pass attempt denied. Seconds winding down in round two. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Sao Kyung. Ground no, and no. pound. The hammer Mark Coleman would be proud. Two rounds in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Third round under up. Strike lands clean. Good job defensively to block that punch. And just misses with that big right hand. Separate. Nice 
jab by Oliveira. Now, DC, a lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Salakianis right back to the full mount. Lands with the ground and pound. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Side control. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Tawagyan's got the full mount. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Ooh, heel hook attempt now, and it looks locked in. Heel hook looks tight. So what a win for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I gotta keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at two minutes. 52 seconds of the third round. We're going the winner by tap out, Charles the Bronx Oliveira! All right, Buff, thank you very much. And there it is yet again, Charles Oliveira adding to his submission total here with a win tonight. New Bronx, Charles Oliveira, the moment the fight hits the floor, you are constantly under attack once again. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Armin Ahakalakis Darukian! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Justin the Highlight Gaethje! All right, so here is the former UFC interim lightweight champion Justin Gaethje as we get this early round underway. He believes he has a decided striking advantage in this matchup, and even though he can counter with the best of them, he said he's going to go on the offensive and maybe take some risks here tonight. Oh, beautiful jab there from Gaethje, who just might be the most watchable fighter in the UFC. It's so fun to call a Justin Gaethje fight. People think he's reckless. People think he's a wild man. But Trevor Whitman has him locked in. His technique 
is beautiful with his strike. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, early round action here. No surprise to see Justin Gaethje go to the leg kicks here. I mean, we saw Justin Gaethje just demolish guys with those leg kicks before the UFC and now as he is in the UFC. This guy is a tremendous fighter. He is a fantastic leg kicker. And you see him using those weapons tonight. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Both of them landed there. Straight right hand counter. Useful. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Gaethje. Oh, now he lands a shot to the leg. Great block there. Collar tie here in the clinch. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Massive knee lands from the tie. Pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't wait. Oh, oh got him again. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Well, it seems like there has been an opening for that overhand all night long. Let's see if he goes back to it here. Oh! What a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. He's got good leg kicks, there it is. Nice defense there, huge block. Oh, what a connection by him there, his opponent. Oh, I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. All right, so as usual, Justin Gaethje battering and butchering an opponent here tonight. I'm not sure any fighter in UFC history has been able to effectively combine entertainment with high-level success as well as Justin Gaethje. I mean, that is a very good statement and a very true statement. When Justin Gaethje is on his game, he can really make his... Oh! You heard him real bad. So as we call on the numbers here, 47 total strikes have landed for Justin Gage. Nice crack there. Oh, like that. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. Oh, good power with a short shot to the head in the clinch. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. Johnson, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, that's a big connection for Justin Gaethje, and really just loves being in that octagon. I'm not sure anybody loves fighting as much as Gaethje. People don't enjoy being in someone's face, getting punched, and landing punches as much as Justin Gaethje. He's right where he wants to be. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Slips to avoid the right. He's hurt now. Back to the feet. Oh, so what an end to the round. He got knocked down just before the final horn. You can classify that as saved by the bell. He is not going to recover, okay? I want you to go out there this round, and I want you to get up. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done.
He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Here we are, early round two. Get the TKO here. Pretty productive with the strikes here off his back. Oh, effective utilization of the ground and pound here by Gaethje. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Bleeding from the mouth now, a cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that. The oh, he oh, hurt him again. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the jump. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, he's wobbled now. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets to his knee, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, guillotine attempt now looks as though he's got the neck. Oh! That guillotine is tough. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. We're trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, we told you off the top of the broadcast he could do it all, but he's leaning on the striking tonight and continues to hit his opponent, really, with most of what he's throwing. Well, he can't miss. I mean, it's like the guy's throwing a baseball at the side of the barn. He, everything he throws, he lands, and he's showing that he can do it, and he can do it in abundance. The pace that this young man is fighting at is truly something special. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely right. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. Salakian is able to protect the eye there with that block. Nice job with his fight awareness there to raise the guard. Big ground strikes continue to land. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Gaethje's eye is starting to swell shut. Good job being a threat off your back and not allowing your opponent to get comfortable. Working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Checks the leg kick. Oh, he'll do something. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me. Back to the overhand right. Not there. Sarukyan gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. 
All right, so the referee has called a halt to the action here, likely to have the doctor come in and look at the swelling around that eye. Not good, DC. You cannot allow these fighters to dictate and determine whether or not they can go. When you have this type of swelling, you got to take a close look to see if the guy can compete. He's taking a close look. Going back to the referee. Looks as though he's going to allow the action to continue. Fans like that decision, but for the compromised fighter, fight? maybe got to take some chances. He's going to take a lot of chances now because he's got to rush. He cannot be as patient as he intended to be with that amount of swelling. Ten seconds to go in the round. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, five minutes to decide this one. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets on the way. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Oh, continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. Gaethje's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Great job landing from the top position. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Saru Kyung. He passed the half guard. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Keiichi's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Better trying to pass here, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Well, the ground and pound is there. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Saru Kyung. So these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Under three minutes now to decide this fight. This is where he wants to be. Stand over. <laughs> Sour is in half guard now. He's going after that cut over and over again, and every time he lands, the cut gets worse. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. Mm, that was nice. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Well, nothing in the unified rule. Oh, how about it? Just what the doctor ordered, he gets back to the feet. John, it's like a Hail Mary. He needs to Oh, he might get finished here. All right, 
Full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine. They have the armbar. They have the kimuras. They have all of them. What a fight. Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 46 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Armin Ahakalakis Zarukian! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after. All right, so here is Yan Xiaonan, the bona fide strawweight contender. And I would suggest to you, in terms of her UFC body of work, she has already overachieved, even though she hasn't realized her first UFC championship opportunity. A lot of people believe that Zhang Wei Li and Yan Xiaonan are the two best strawweights in the world, and even though they're both out of China, they are firmly on a collision course. But the big wins have absolutely started to pile up for the Team Alpha male trained Yan Xiaonan. Who could forget the knockout of Jessica Andrade at UFC 288? And if she can get the job done here tonight, the next fight very well could be in a championship set. So she became China's first UFC champion back in 2019, became a two-division champ in 2022, and most people believe, Daniel, that Zhang Wei Li is the best 115-pound fighter in the world. I believe she's the best. I mean, even in the losses, she seemed to be the best. We saw her beat Carlos Parson the way that she did. We saw her distance herself from Joanna Janjacek yeah. down in Singapore. And it seems as though now she's going to bring stability to this weight class, a weight class where the belt's been passed around quite a bit. But tonight she has a big challenge on her hands if she wants to stay the champion. Because once again, when you're staring at a hungry young challenger like this, you can leave nothing or take nothing for granted. And I think that's been a big part of Sean Whitley's success, right? Keeping her feet on the pavement, focused on the task at hand. And we'll see how it goes for her here tonight in a matchup that she is favored to win. And now our tale of the day for this strawweight championship fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Yoshana! And now, introducing the champion, 
fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world, John Magnum Wayley. And there's Herb Dean. He will handle the action inside the octagon. Well, for all the places we go in the world, you can hold up to this one. Good evening from T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Opened April of 2016. UFC went there for the first time at UFC 200, and they've been bringing big shows seemingly every other month ever since. They call Vegas the fight capital of the world. And if you're talking about a home base for the UFC, you're talking about T-Mobile Arena, home to some of the biggest UFC events ever, UFC 200. Conor McGregor versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. This place has been the home of some of the biggest UFC fights in history. Tonight, you get to take the same walk to that octagon to try to make your mark on this board. What a beautiful leg kick that landed. One of her coaches, the captain, Eric Albarasin, has said, Jean Wei Li is the most gifted athlete he's ever coached, man or woman. So one minute into this fight, as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy, back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, these It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Zhang Wei Li. All right, early round action here in Zhang Wei Li, not wasting any time finding a home for that right hand. A beautiful right hand. You know, we saw this in the Jessica Andrade fight, her title-winning performance, where she overwhelmed her with that shot that put her out. Zhang Wei Li is a tremendous athlete, and when she explodes into this punch, she is as good as they come. She missed with that jab. Push kick there to the body. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Nice straight right lands. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Good punch lands. Those are big strikes. That left hook was nasty. Straight punch is true. Oh, big kick lands flush. Oh, her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class. But she lands, and she lands very effectively. Spinning back fist. Oh! Oh! Under two minutes to go here in round one. A straight punch there. Just out of range with the big right hand. The takedown is not there. That kick lands. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Strong kick by her there. That punch didn't get through. Great defensive skills on this play. All right, so she finally gets the takedown here after many failed attempts. Obviously, she was not discouraged, stayed committed. Now she has the fight in her wheelhouse on the canvas. Let's see what she can do with it. All right, nice transition into Shao Nan's going for a choke here. Ooh, she might be in trouble. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. Well, she's on bottom, but defensively avoiding a lot of these headshots. Well, as 
usual suffocating work from the top here. Nice. Oh, she's in trouble, dude. Nice shot lands from the boss. Let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC, and what a display of striking for her. Yeah, she did a fantastic job of finding her spot, putting herself in position where she was the one landing and really dictating the pace of the fight. She did a great job of mixing up everything to get in control. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's go. All right, let's get to round two. All right, here we go with our next round. Three headaches if you want them. How about all the volume of strikes landed to the head by her in the previous round? Oh, man, she's... What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing. She's still standing. She's, still standing. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Oh, right hand lands again for Zhang Weili. Zhang Weili starting to feel it now, man. She's starting to get off of that right hand. She's throwing it more often now because she has found that she can land it at will. Shout on going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. All right, so a storyline developing. You see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that same spot. The cut's nothing too big right now. But if she doesn't protect it, it'll get a lot worse. Yan Xiaonan's body getting bruised up on that right side now. Don't want to take too many more shots to that midsection. Xiong's back in half goal. She's really accurate landing these strikes from top position. Work, Chong's has got full mount now. <laughs> nice positional control here. Great defense from her back. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Nicely done. Jan Shannon's back in full guard now. Oh, watch Guillotine here. Oh, that killing is tough. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. All right, she's got her in the crucifix now. I would think a lot of options at her disposal offensively. Yeah, she's got all the options. All she needs to do is be patient. Drop elbows, drop big punches. Just really start to lay into your opponent, but do it in a way that you don't lose all the work that you put in to gaining such a dominant position. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is, her opponent. Oh, she made that one count. Just over two minutes to go. She's got her back now. Well, no surprise that eventually we would see some visible damage swelling now after that big ground strike. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Jean. In full guard now, DC. And I know when you're in this position, you're looking to pass the half guard pretty quick. Oh, absolutely. Trying to get the half guard so I can start to get up ground and pound. This is exactly what she needs to do. Not only does it get you to a position to get off ground and pound, it also takes a lot of the danger away right. from your opponent off of their back. 
half guard is not nearly as dangerous as full guard. So get to half, land some ground and pound, get posture, and then continue to dominate on the ground. Jones back inside control. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Jong's back in full now. Oh. Shao Nan's in half court. And right into side control. All right, so there it is again. Her striking has been on point really from the outset. And now some definite swelling on the opposition. Some absolute swelling. She has done a great job of targeting the face, making sure that every time she throws, she lands with an intent to just advance all the swelling that we are seeing right now. Oh, right into Mount. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Half guard position for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You got to make sure you're on the Grounded and pounded, there's the horn, round over, and it couldn't have come any sooner for that fighter on bottom. She was defending as best she could, but you thought maybe the referee was gonna step in there. Instead, she goes back to the stool. She will survive to see another round. Sean Whaley. Oh, she's cut. Oh, shot to the is that a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh, nice high kick. Take down, no problem. Chong's now dealing with a cheat cut. <laughs> Trying to get the knees going. <laughs> Went for the inside leg kick. All right, so no surprise to see her continuing to attack that area. That cut is going to get wider with every passing moment of the fight. You know, generally you expect it to get worse. When you're fighting someone like her, you know it's going to get worse because she's as sharp and as crisp as any striker you ever step in the octagon with. So she's going to be on that cut and attacking that cut relentlessly. Oh, that guillotine choke is tight. That guillotine choke is tight. She's got her in her full guard locked in. It's only a matter of time before she makes her tap. Oh, a great submission defense as she gets out. Can't get a good awareness by the defensive fighter. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success in this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. And now she has her back. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. 
All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submissions or they're going to lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. This is a terrible position. Oh, big elbow. Another nasty ground strike, and that one has cut it. That was a slick transition. Good ground and pound by her here. She felt like she could finish the fight with her ground strikes tonight and might be well on her way here. I mean, John, I believe it after watching the ground and pound that she's landing in this part of the fight. Oh, strong reversal on the ground here. Now the hammer fist here by Jean. Great shot from the top position. Well, no surprise here. She backs off and welcomes her opponent back to the ring. There, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Oh, big left hand there. Well, how urgent is this fighter down the stretch? She is really lighting her up now. She found her range in the middle of this fight, and she is making up for this time. Oh! Huge shots going on right here. Best late in the round and gets another takedown for good measure. Big moment in the fight to secure a takedown late. Leaves the last impression in the judge's mind, but also makes her feel good that she finally got that takedown that she's been chasing this whole round. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let's take a look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC Chief among it. The big knockdown courtesy of that punch. A big knockdown off of that punch. She was flowing, letting everything go. And then she sat down on that strike that put her opponent down. It looked like the fight was over. But we do go forward. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Fourth it. round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. I think we are the only two men sitting in this arena as we have arrived at round four and we enter the championship rounds. A huge, huge five minutes coming up for these two young ladies. J.A., I couldn't have imagined that this fight would be this good. It's round number four now. Who can really keep fighting at such a high level with such good technical skills as they've gone into round number four? Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting oh, That's about as big a body shot as you'll see DC. Let's see if she can close the show here. She landed that strike perfect. She was looking for it, and she found the moment where it landed. Beautiful. Don Shaunan's back into full guard. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. I mean, she's fighting a fantastic fight. Wayne Lee going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. And there you go, again, half guard. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern from both fighters recognizing that, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. She is so dominant from the top position. 
Man, these women are putting on a show tonight. The crowd absolutely loving it as they make their way back. To the what a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Oh, right hand landed. There you go. Oh, huge left. Shaunan going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on, making up for lost time here. Oh, oh, no. oh she might be able to get her out of there now. Body shot. Back and forth we go. Zhang swelling now around her jaw, so we'll keep an eye on that storyline as this fight continues, but she has absorbed a lot of strikes to the head thus far. Get it, jump! Oh, looks tight to me! Oh, she gets out! She does a great job of creating space, getting to her back, and living to fight another day. Zhang, ground and pound from half goal. Nice ground strikes landed by her from top position now. Shongs in half guard. Beautiful transition. Under a minute now to go in the round. In the half guard. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, beautiful job by her there. Targets the swollen area, and that visually is getting worse by the minute. Final seconds. Right, 20 minutes down, five to go. Hey, stop. Well, a punch like that would have felled lesser women, but she survives and gets to fight another round. She's as tough as they come. She's sitting on her bench right now telling her coaches, I'm good. I'm ready to go. That was just a moment. I'm still going to get the victory. I believe she has to change something. She cannot continue to do the same thing and expect a different result. You ready to fight? You ready? We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Do you believe what we saw in the previous round? I can't believe it, but here is our next round. Both women sat down with us on... Oh! But that will do it! Sean Weili gets the finish! Jeez Louise! decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 10 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC strongweight champion of the world, John Magnum Well, the celebration is officially on in the corner for the UFC's undisputed women's strawweight champion. She defends her title with style points tonight. As One of the best athletes in this light heavyweight division enter the former champion out of Grand Rapids, Michigan, Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill. A lot of people were excited when he came off of Dana White's Contender Series and won the title, the first Contender Series alum to realize UFC gold. Were it not for an Achilles injury sustained on the basketball court, this man would probably still be the champion. But he has gone through the rehab, he has gone through the recovery, and believes he has come out the other side a stronger version mentally, physically, and emotionally. Only time will tell, but a big spot for Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill tonight. expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pereira not only had a chance, took it all the way to the title, and tonight, he looks to get another victory. He is seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. the tape for this light heavyweight championship fight. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> First, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Jamal Sweet Dreams Hill! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed light heavyweight Champion, Alex Herb Dean, our third Ready, man in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready. Good. 
Jamal Sweet Dreams, who perhaps has the most accurate nickname on the roster. Certainly, he has left a lot of bodies in his wake over the last several years. Jimmy Crute and Johnny Walker getting knocked out in round one. And we'll see what Jamal Hill can do here tonight. Certainly, the challenges figure to get stiffer as he vaults into legitimate light heavyweight title contention. But he believes he will have the striking advantage over every light heavyweight on the roster, including the opposition here tonight. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Shot is blocked there by Hill. Well, every MMA fight begins on the feet, and that is music to the ears of Alex Pereira, who has found a home for that left hook early. I mean, that's his best shot, man. We have seen Alex Pereira land this left hook and kick him to finish Israel Adesanya, and also inside the octagon where he knocked out Sean Strickland. It is such a powerful strike, and Pajeda is a master of it. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, a big left hand lands. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Missed on the right hand. Oh, nice takedown defense. He gets to the spot, the tie plays. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Just over three minutes to go. kicks are really starting to pile up in this round as he continues to beat up that leg of his opponent. One, two there by Padena. Oh, that right hand barely missed it. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Padena. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Attack the head, attack. He's looking to land the right just out of range. <laughs> Two minutes to go. goes to set up the hook again. He has really done a nice job punctuating his combinations with that hook tonight. Oh my goodness, what a kick! Oh, look at that. Oh! And there it is. The How about these two going at it? He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Big ground and pound. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. He's in the mouth. Get the half guard. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Pereira going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes, mixing it up pretty well here. Round one winding down here. Pereira's right back to the full mount here. Uh -huh. 
Oh. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Oh. All right, so there's the oh. horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Right, Got to talk man. about that knockdown. That awesome. What a fantastic really round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walks back to the corner. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. Ready. Ready. Go. All right, round two. Hill gets crushed with that hook. Another strike to the head lands. Oh, the leg kick lands. I'm spamming leg kicks if I'm playing oh. the game. Oh! There, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, right here! All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Nice kick there by Pereira. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover and looks like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that fit. Keep that pressure high now. He got it. He passes the half guard. He needs to better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. You've got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out or your night's going to end very early. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Sweet dreams, Hill's limping heavily now. Might not be a bad idea to raise that knee, try to check a kick. I'm just not sure how many more he can take. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Touched him with the strike there. Both guys appeared to land there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Great commitment to the kicking game. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Well, there it is again, that left hook from Alex Pereira. He is in the zone tonight, James. I'm surprised you're still standing because Alex Pereira lands that left hook. Generally, you go to sleep. The guy is as powerful as anyone that we have seen in the UFC middleweight division. Got the single collar tie. Beautiful defense. Nice block. Well, the calf kick has effectively changed the game, and I'm not sure he wants to take too many more of those. Well, you might consider switching stances or something to try to eliminate that attack from coming in his direction. Nice. Nicely done. Switch, knee lands to the bottom. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. 90 seconds and counting in round two. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, big up. Trying to establish that jab once again. Able to connect with a beautiful jab. Such a right there, DC. He's rocked. That was 
a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly. And back to his feet. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. What a round it was for him, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish? You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, to he's very powerful, Ready. and he can end anybody's yeah. night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Pereira gets hit with a kick. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect it. That was a big check. Sweet dreams, Hill slipping now, Daniel. You see the right leg damage, a lot of it courtesy of that last kick. So we'll see if he can figure out a way to get his footwork back and make the requisite adjustments. Told you would keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now. And he continues to target that area wisely. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. But as he continues to target it, you can start to see it opening up. Look for him to continue to go down that route to try to get his victory. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Pereira. change make him think you're going low and it's a fight over the top with that beautiful overhand great punch under three minutes now to go on the round oh nice kick those leg kicks man that's his investment his investment is in the leg kicks that's how he slows these guys down and he breaks them down well this is absolutely the hurt business it's hard to see which party is more injured but i think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one yeah both guys have been affected both guys have been beat up it's a very competitive fight let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough fights. that is it oh my goodness i mean you got to be kidding me with that knockout if that is not the number one play on sports center tonight I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 31 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed USC light heavyweight.
heavyweight champion of the world, Jamal Sweet Green Hill! So just like that, we have a new UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, and it's always interesting to digest this result when we have 